So, the basics about using the body rock, when you first start off to feel your way around, you want to make sure you don't get into any of the bones or hit anything that's going to hurt. I start off with the edge of it like this, and I'm just feeling my way to see what's going on, where everything is. It's just like using a knife to spread peanut butter on a piece of bread. So, I find where the edge of the spine is, I find where the edge of the scapula is, I can kind of go over everything real lightly. And I can work a little bit deeper where I know there's lots of soft tissue I'm not going to hurt anything. Makes sense. Now, when I want to start to go a little bit deeper, I'm going to turn it over in my hand like this and trap it against the body. So I'm not spending energy trying to grip the stone or hold the stone, I'm just trapping it in my hand. And I can go from a large surface area, three or four square inches, to about a half a square inch just by moving my wrist. So, to work deeper, I use less surface area. To be more superficial, I use more surface area. It slides real well on clothing. On bare skin, I'd want to use oil or lotion or a powder, talc or baby powder or cornstarch. Now, if I want to get in and get even more pressure, I can do this. Thumb up like this, in my hands. Hands are relaxed. The whole key is to stay relaxed. Let the stone do the work. Do the heel of my hand. And if I want to do specific pressure on a point or a trigger point, I might hold it like this to come in and hold the point. I could also hold it like this. And be very gentle with the tip because you can go really aggressively, but I'll work on very specific things, acupressure points, the attachments of the muscle at the tendons, doing cross fiber friction to break up scar tissue, dredging or tracing along the inner 